when people look at it on our waterways, we say, well, there's enough water to last forever, right? But we don't want to think of it that way. People have to have it for life. It's not a luxury, it's, it's an essential. One thing we don't want to do is exploit them in a way that's non-sustainable. Conserving the greatest body of fresh water on the planet should be a top priority. With more than 3,000 miles of shoreline, 36,000 miles of streams, and almost 11,000 inland lakes, water is a defining feature of Michigan. Since 1986, the Annis Water Resources Institute has dedicated itself to numerous research projects and water education. We help inform the community about water-related issues. We provide information to them, data that we've collected that helps the local municipalities make better informed decisions. Our focus from the beginning has been to provide science to the society here. Each lake is unique. They each need an individual diagnosis. For Muskegon Lake in particular, which we sit on here, our research over the last 20 years has basically shown that the lake has met its restoration targets. And hopefully this year, if not next year, we will be delisted as an area of concern in the Great Lakes, which will be a huge, huge achievement. And it wouldn't happen without the science showing rigorously that we've met these restoration targets. From young school children to graduate students learning about water policy, AWRI's educational cruises have reached over 192,000 people. Planting that seed for the next generation becomes a really, really important part of what we do. Get them excited about being out on the water, giving them a little bit of an understanding of how our aquatic ecosystems function, how special they are. You know, we have two vessels, so between them, uh, most of West Michigan school children have been on our vessels. Here's one example that I think is telling. When I got here in 01, you know, I knew people in the Great Lakes region, and I said to them, look, I'm new to the area, if there's opportunities to collaborate, please let me know. And now they come to us and want to collaborate with us because we've established ourselves in such a way that we're a go-to institute. So I think that's really indicative of the status that we've attained over time. Being next to 20% of the freshwater reserves on the planet, that we have a resource here that's far, far more precious than all the petroleum reserves in the world. It deserves sincere and serious protection for the future.